plays But also, I feel like he plays Smash enough to move out of a cheek down throw That's fast, true. probably. That's true. He just never messes up. What's up, Iggy? When you're the worst player, yes. and it's last knock and you're down, yeah. do you think you should go for the cheese, or do you think that you should just try and outplay them because they know you're going to look for the cheese? Uh, you should cheese. <laughs> wow, I did, not think, I did not think he would say that. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's just like the cheese should be you grab. The raw, the raw grab. How is that, how is that cheese? Grab into cheese. Dude, so many times oh, they just yeah. try to like randomly cheese you, you know? Like, oh, yeah, 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 cheese. yeah, yeah. That's not cheese. So it's not good cheese. Grab into throw them off and then like read the cheese. Throwing them off is... <laughs> yeah. It's big money dollars. <laughs> Okay, so this is Myung and AD Knight. D Myung. D Mig. D Y M. D Mig. D M. Danny. His fucking tag Nobody is in their un crew un can unpronounceable. Nobody in their crew can come up with a good tag. 999. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is a shit tag. <laughs> I agreed. This is not Juice Box. It's 80 Knight. Skate, it's 80 Knight. Skate, it's 80 Knight. 80 Knight. 80 Knight. It should you be can, it's spelled 999. <laughs> <laughs> 80 Knight. K N I G. Okay. Cheek Falcon. No, no, other way, other, other way around. The, he's, the, the, the other one is Danny, is Dim Young, and the other one is 80 Knight. I really like don't know what to do in this matchup. In yeah. neutral. You, the good thing is that you don't have to because uh, you just shit on Falcon. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Really? I feel like it's so easy. Uh, I don't feel like it is. <laughs> but, like, not because the matchup is hard, but I'm just bad at it. I feel like if I knew how to play the matchup at all, it would be, like, incredibly easy. Uh, yeah, I don't feel that way. <laughs> we can agree to disagree. Yeah. Um. DIMG, using a lot of backwards short hops. He um, that board smash. His neutral is kind of interesting. I don't know how to describe it. What the it's like? Heck? It's like super like he goes for a lot. Read yeah, yeah, he uh, he goes it's for like old school. he goes for like weird reads. He does play like an old school player. The reason he's super old school is because he didn't play with anybody. He just played. He just like played with like a few like random people. You know, like before oh, okay. he played with 999's crew, he just played with like a random guy. It's over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. I feel like that style is good in this matchup. I feel like that style in general is very, it's very cool. Sometimes. That sucks. I think you have to, uh, I think what, what he should have done there is just the Falcon <laughs> should have light shielded and then just gotten back to the plat, like just gotten to the ledge. Oh, that was, that was a that cool was a good card. fair. I always get mad when they like miss, when they miss the initial fair, you know, the F tilt fair or dash tech fair, like that's like bread and butter. <laughs> you can't be missing that. This is what 89 gets for regging weight. 89 missing a lot of basic grab follow-ups I feel like oh the power he just shield. looks like um double power he's just not putting his combos together oh. meanwhile DYMG mixing up like he does a lot of like um like pretty basic mix up like he'll like do like in place in place and then he'll oh. do it he'll, he'll do in place attack in place attack oh and then my. deep attack Wow. That was really, that was pretty good. I would have just gone off stage and, oh, okay, or you can do that. Is he going to kill him? Oh, he could have just, like, um, he could have just ran up crouched and then F tilted in time. Who? DYMG, and he would have killed At him. 100%? No, like, he would have, he could have F tilted him and then done an edge guarding sequence. Instead, he tried to go for the fair. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, have fun. Oh, I hope there's a four stock. One second, let me watch him four, get four stock. Four stock, four stock. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he didn't like to talk shit. He goes. So when he gets shit on, it's always a good day. He does not seem like the type to me. No, he's like one of those like, like small shit talkers. You know, like cute, like you know. I, hey, I don't I'll know you, what you know? that means. <laughs> and also, I feel like they can hear us. No, they definitely can. That's why I'm talking shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I feel like at this point, DRMG is kind of just throwing out hitboxes. Like, all right, let's go to game two. There's a potential for 89 to bring it back. Yeah, that's really atrocious DI. Just very bad. Uh, 89 playing a lot cleaner. Yeah, really good read on DIMG coming in with an arrow. Oh, he had so many opportunities 
to pressure there. Wow, okay, this works out. I'd like to see him grab ledge. Missed opportunity, but he doesn't suffer for it. Wow, that shield poke knee is bringing it all the way back. Okay. Oh, <laughs> it stomps and get into get grabbed. That sucks. DYMG just walling out. Oh, Reed's moving in. Doesn't follow up. That should be it. Yeah. Yeah, good counter pick for Falcon. I agree with it. I imagine DOMG probably banned Stadium or FD. Whoa, really weird situation with the tree popping up there. DOMG really likes run up shield. I think it's not a bad option as long as like, but he, he just sits there kind of and I wish, or like I, I would like to see AD Knight call him out with grab more and I would so to force DOMG to like run up shield and then move faster out of it. Cause he'll just run up and sit and wait for I, what I'm assuming is like he just wants the Falcon to hit his shield unsafely, but I don't feel like that's like a real strategy. But like run up shield is fine, just as long as like you're kind of doing something with it or like moving out of it. Oh, we saw 89 kind of get his groove together uh, at the end of that last game. Brought it back from four stocks all the way down to one. I think he cleaned up his combo game a lot. Started making his decision making got a little bit better, and his follow ups got a lot better. That's like the biggest difference I noticed. Like the first DOMG's first stock, he dropped like at least like three or four combos. Like that should have just been easy. He could have actually covered that poof to the ledge if he just timed his get up better. Um, but he was a little bit early getting off the ledge. That mix up is, is really risky. Like if the other player knows how to edge guard Sheik, it, it shouldn't really shouldn't really work. Okay, uh, knee. This should be a pretty easy rinse and repeat edge guard. Okay, I guess he's going Zelda. I think he could have drifted more first. Hello, stream. We got Ginger joining me on the mic. I won my first match. Are you proud of me, Heartstrings? Always. Thank you. Very good job. <laughs> So I actually don't know either of these players. So, AD Knight is a local Falcon player. Ann Arbor Falcon player? Yeah, okay. I believe so. Same with DYMG, local sheep player. DYMG is a 999's crew. Oh, okay. Um, he is a pretty good player, actually. Like, f for, I'm sure, like, very few people have heard of him, but he's not I've bad Never seen him before. He beat Dynamic and Pools at the Arcadian. Really? Yeah. No way. That's awesome. So, yeah, he's not bad at all. Is it 1-1 right now, or is it 1-0? It's 1-0 for okay. DYMG. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, that was nice. a very lazy recovery. Yeah, seriously. Good on Captain Falcon to... Because we saw before that the Falcon let go of the ledge too early, so it was good on him to just keep it that time. Holy moly, mm -hmm. this DI is bad. Wow. See, I feel I like you don't want to give Falcon just the free percent. Once they've proven they can, they they will do the chain grab when they do just DI immediately in. DI out. There's no there's no point. You just you're taking free percent, and you might as well actually make them work for it right. by having them tech chase. Yeah, I agree. Which um, yeah, go ahead. I was just gonna say when you brought up how lazy that uh, recovery was, like I've been playing against Android so much, and he will never let you get away with like being lazy on an edge guard or anything. He always makes you work for it. His recovery is so good, and he, he's never lazy on it. Yeah, this is just like a uh, anecdotal thing that, but like everyone mm -hmm. talks about, you know, his crazy uh, reverse up B. Mm -hmm. I tried that for like solid twenty minutes. And I hit like three of them. It's really, like very hard. He I hit it like he messed it up one time in friendlies with me. Other than that, he's gotten it every it's time. Incredible. I'll have to ask him how he does it. Uh, DOMG playing Zelda. Wait, I'm confused. Yeah, did he, did he have to recover like this? Probably. He so what he seems to opt for is that when he has to so what what ha, what I do personally is when I have to transform to Zelda, mm -hmm. I immediately just try to run away and transform off stage and then like just do a recovery mix up. 
and like make it like a 50 50 instead of like or like <laughs> like some sort of recovery thing instead of trying to play it's, it instead zelda. of trying to play a zelda he always tries to play a zelda almost always. really and looks like he's losing the game for it huh i do well i mean he was at a percent where if he had landed a kick falcon was just dead so I, he True. went for the grab i think you should just go for straight kicks i feel at like that you point. have to be pretty confident in your zelda play like i don't feel confident in my ability <laughs> to land a zelda kick against captain falcon have you ever thought of practicing zelda i have thought of it before i i did it i did the the ice against hungry box from apex thing really to to like a jigglypuff before yeah i, I like it i won with it but i was like uh it was against like a not that good jigglypuff and i like almost lost trying I feel to like it can't be that Zelda. good um, I think it's only good if you're tremendous. Like if you're if you're like an incredible Zelda player, right? Then it's like probably fine. You think so? I, I mean, if just because you only have to land one hit. Right? Let's that's, say that's let's the say name of the game. your Zelda is you're an amazing player, and your Zelda is as at least as good as your Sheik, if not better. Then I say do that strategy. Wow. Maybe actually, maybe only if it's better. Than your Sheik. Wow. Okay. Well, that's my opinion. I actually don't know. I haven't right. played with it enough, and I'm also. A, uh, not a good Zelda player, mm -hmm. so I don't. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like my opinion on it is not very right. valid. But the strategy is you build up to like ninety percent or whatever, and then you do a kick. It's actually you're, lower you're, on most stages. Really? So yeah, you're, you're not looking for anything else. Early. You just try to kick, right? Ah, as far as I know. I don't know. I think kick. that's what it is. I haven't it sounds watched like that some, for a long time. It sounds like some fucking cheese to me, but I mean, Ice rocked it, dude. Yeah. If it if it like kind of almost works on Hungry Box, and you're the worst player, like, <laughs> sounds like. Of at least a somewhat viable mm -hmm. strategy to me but mm -hmm. you know i think like one data point probably isn't enough to to determine it either way right yeah i'd agree anyway while we're talking about zelda we have a very i say i oh right this is a chic player's nice. pick yeah i agree with this pick this is a good pick yeah Agreed. i thought the falcon player picked this no, um, i think falcon is worse on small stages oh, yeah did none win on this stage uh I, against m2k in i the don't most recent remember set? Uh, i i don't remember at all he did Okay. Yeah, I think he had to win two games here, maybe. Yeah, it was crazy. Oh, that's right. I don't know why. I think it's maybe because Mewtwo King also likes the the larger spaces. But I think in general, I think Sheik is a lot better in close quarters and like scramble situations in this matchup. Unless the Falcon is like a crouch cancel god. Yeah, I th I think I I wouldn't take none to the stage if I'm Mewtwo King. Right. So this is quite the turnaround. We had DYMG first game of this set was up four stocks to one. Mm-hmm. Um, and then AD Knight's been slowly bringing it back ever since. Uh, I would like to see him. Yeah, that's fine. That works. I think he could have walked towards the edge there, and even if he texts the down smash, he gets hit by the second hit of down right, smash, right? Right, exactly. I really like that coverage of Sheik. I think it's really cool. So, uh, yeah, this should be a champions. Big tech, tech chase. Oh, okay, that's an interesting. I mean, he hard reads the get up attack, covers oh, it. Oh, wow. goodness um, gracious. Some interesting uh -oh. tech chasing going on here. Mm -hmm. Very unconventional. Why does it say let's go Joe Biggs? I, I, I just played him, and I think I reported it as me winning. It, I would understand. Oh, oh my no, goodness! There's no way that was reverse ever fair. Oh, I think reverse gonna, fair. No, was he has mix-ups. Yeah, I would have. I would have just like waited a little bit more as a sheik because like mm -hmm. it was probable that he was gonna try to come inwards into the stage. Right. Right. True. Because he's scared oh, of getting hit. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, kills him. That's about as wow bad as that edge guard can go. Uh, that down smash. Oh shit! Again? Let's get it recorded. Damn. It's because he's your friend? Oh, sick. Sorry I had to beat him then. He seemed like a very nice guy. Uh, it's not really a good strategy to switch to Zelda. Fair and Bear are not disjointed enough to beat Jigglypuff. Fair and Bear.